Welcome to Flash Basics Tutorial 11. Make a slideshow. I have the CS5 Flash program opened and I'm going to open a new FLA. I'm keeping the Action Script 3 in the default. Layer 1, I'm going to call Images, I M A G E S. And I'm going to select the first four frames right click convert to blank keyframes so I have four blank keyframes go into my under file import import to the library it just prepares itself to import them and I have four images and each of these images I made them 191 by 144 so I'm selecting this one, this one, this one, and this one, four of them. Open. And there's my library docked here. Yours is under window if you don't have it there. And there they are. Select frame one. Click on the library panel. Bring the first one in. Close the panel. Go up to properties. Oops. Up here I have my alignment tool. You may have yours. If it's not docked here, you get it under Windows. Make sure that the image is selected that you just brought in. See that blue around it? Open the alignment panel. Make sure this align to stage is clicked up with a check mark. Click this one here and this one here and that'll center that for me. Go to frame two. Do exactly the same thing. Bring in the second image open up the alignment panel center it to the stage bring in the third image center it and go to the fourth layer bring in the fourth image and center it to the stage lock this image layer and if you ran it now We'll just test it, test it and you'll just see it just runs through those images 24 frames a second is what I'm set for insert a new layer call it buttons B U T T O N S select frame one fairly quickly very quickly use your one of your tools whatever you want I'm going to use a straight line tool you can draw circles whatever you want but I'm going to draw a really quick button here but narrow like that, crossing like this, bringing it down like that, bringing it back like that, up like that, that's my arrow, going to fill it, and I'm going to leave it like that, my selection tool, modify, whoops, my selection tool, highlight that whole thing modify convert it to a symbol it's going to be a, a button make sure it's button and call it button b u t t o n underscore b t n it's a button come into the properties panel while it's still selected you know it's selected call this next n e x t underscore b t n open the library panel again drag that same button in down here close the panel open the property panel give it an inst it's the same button but it's going to have a different instance name pre p r e v like previous underscore b t n now I just want to drag it over to this one, line them up vertically, come up to modify, and under transform, flip horizontally, and drag it down. I'm using my arrow keys to get it over here. I could just drag it with my mouse, but I want to make sure they're still in, they're in line. Okay. Lock this buttons layer. I'm locking them all. 
select the buttons layer, insert a layer, action script, AS, select the first frame, open the actions panel, and type, 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 type all this. Starting off with a stop, STOP, open and close bracket, semicolon. That's just so it stays on that frame until we do something. There's that button we made, the next button. Capital N E X T underscore B T N period. Add event listener. Small A, capital E, capital L. It's all blue when you're finished. Open bracket. It's a mouse event. Capital M, capital E, period. Click. All capitals. C L I C K, comma. And I'm calling this function the next frame. Close bracket, semicolon. Function, F U N C T I O N, turns purple. I copied next frame paste it in here open bracket event small e colon most event you can copy this most event in and paste it down here close bracket colon void void is the same color as function there's the open curly bracket for that function and there's the close curly bracket for that function sometimes when you're typing they'll come back automatically so inside this function we got an if statement if turn the same color as function open bracket this is the the question if the current frame the frame we're on small c capital F it'll turn blue equals equals two equal signs total frames small t capital F R A M E S. this is the frame that we're going to be on at any given time this is the number of frames total in our case we went up as far as four frames so when we reach four frames, we want to go back to frame one. So we can see that the pictures loop. Close bracket. There's my open bracket for this if statement. There's the close bracket for this if statement. So if indeed we're up at frame four, which is the last frame, and we tell it to go to the next frame, it's then going to go to and stop. It's going to stop back on frame one. So go to and stop, small g, small t, capital A, capital S open bracket one close bracket semicolon again there's a close curly bracket if that's not up to the fourth frame we must be on the first second or third else ELSE the same color as if open curly bracket go to the next frame small NEXT capital F frame open close bracket semicolon and there's the other close curly bracket for the else now you can either you can go from here right up like this and copy this if you want copy it and then paste it down and just make the necessary few changes instead of the next button it's the prev button this is all the same this is all the same this is all the same we have to have a different function name so instead of being the next fun frame I'm calling it the prev frame P R E V capital P this is all the same here except for pre in here P R E V and now this is when we're going backwards 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 now we're testing to see if we're back at frame one so here for this if don't forget your void and your open bracket now for this if we're saying open bracket if the current frame is equal equal one that means we're back as far as we can go. Close bracket, open curly bracket. Go to and stop. Small g, small t, capital A, capital S, to total frames. Don't forget this open and close brackets around total frames. Total frames is in our case frame four. So now if we're going previous, back, 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 and finally we get to one, well you can't go to a zero so this says you're equal to one jump back to four so you can keep going backwards and three then two and so on there's the close bracket for the if here else the lse the same color as if open bracket prev frame small p capital f open close bracket semicolon there's the close bracket for this else and there's the other close bracket for this function so let's give this a test and see. Oh, let's go back to the timeline for a minute. 
make sure that that these are all like that that you have all the nothing in here except for this little square on frame on frame four if not click on it so you get that fuzzy thing drag it like that and then go back here and remove those frames like that that's what you need to do now let's test it let's see if it works there it is goes ahead there's my last picture but it loops back to one and if I go backwards there's one loops back to four the good thing about this is you can add as many frames as you wish as many images as you wish doesn't matter what their names are as long as you center them they don't even have to be the same size as long as you center them because the action script deals with frame one which can't change and no matter how many frames you got the total it'll always deal with that total frame numbers I hope you learned something from this quick tutorial and I hope you use what you learned